because I'm returning north, I've ended up um, back in Sendai. And uh, man, that is some low cloud. That is worth looking at, isn't it? Look at that. Jeez Louise. This is the town of Ishinomaki. Uh, it's got a lot of these stuff. Uh, presumably, this is some sort of anime that's or manga that's famous to this town. Anyway, I'm 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 kind of in the same, more or less the same area that I was when I turned around and came south because it was too cold. Not quite there, but um, but close enough, I guess. Um, uh, but it's a bit warmer now. It's uh, the air temperature actually isn't particularly warm uh, in the shade, but um, with the sunlight, it's rather nice. It's about right. I think it's a lot warmer further south now, so it's about 20, about 27 or 28 during the day. So it's actually hot down there, down uh, down in the south of Japan right now. But in the north, it, uh, as long as it's not cloudy, it's fine. And. Um, but I don't really know what to do. I've kind of come out on a peninsula here. And um, I can kind of hike north. Uh, but I'll be in the middle of nowhere. Um, and I can start hitchhiking, or I could start hitchhiking again. And I'll probably reach where I want to go pretty quickly. But I think I've still got at least another week or so before Hokkaido is, is, is reasonable in terms of temperature. So I've actually got to kind of bum around here for a while. So I don't exactly know what to do. I'll let you know. I guess. There's been, just been some kind of drama inside this building. I don't know what there's a lot of people. You can just about see them over there. I was kind of sat in the Salmon Family Mart, which is there. Um, and suddenly there are a lot of people outside. And um, I think they will be evacuated from this building. I don't know why. There's cobs around and shit. So there you go. I'm actually looking for a supermarket, but I got kind of distracted by what appeared to be little tiny private bars. Christ, that's what's going on in them. Something's going on in this little back alley, man. Like, it's, I doubt this is dangerous, but it could be fun. <laughs> like, my hotel is literally just there, through the, through the end of here. But, um, and then it's like, you know, there it is. <laughs> and then that's my hotel. It's a little hole. So I've come to a decision as to what I'm doing. I'm going to go to these places. Uh, they're too far away to hike, they're too far away to walk, even in stages. So I'm going to have to hitch some of the way. I don't want to go too far north though, because it's, it, it, it's uh, you know, it's a cloudy day today. It's a bit cooler than it was yesterday. It's not bad actually, it's all right. But these places are kind of, um, they're kind of in the wild green yonder, basically. So I'll see what it's like out there. The back end of nowhere, I suppose, but there we go. It's about as close as I can get, I think. He surreptitiously walked away as I got closer. Anyway, he would have been about here otherwise. So I'm back on the uh, on the motorway. I'm uh, in a very small parking area that was a bit of a pain to get to. I actually had to come through some woods. So I basically had to come all the way along there. And and way over there, there's a... Oh, seriously, it's taking me about half an hour to walk through from from just beyond that bridge. Just, just, just beyond there. And I had to walk all the way around and yada, 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 and then walk down and... Uh, but I'm kind of retracing the steps. I'm going north again now. It's a bit warmer this time. Um, that was about three weeks ago. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm nearly, nearly back to where I got to before I turned around last time. 
Um, and it's considerably warmer. It's considerably warmer, particularly during the day. So it's actually quite nice. In fact, it's actually in the south of Japan. It's actually pretty hot right now. So, um, so cool, as it were. Okay, there's a big ass hoverfly. Where is it? It's like easily an inch, an inch and a half long. I'm trying to get hold of it. Hopefully, it'll come nearer. It did come near, very near to me a couple of times. I hope I'm getting it. I'm not sure. Can't really see it on the camera. I'll sort of half follow it. There go. There. That's oh, there it is. Can okay, I go a bit nearer? Come on. before but I didn't take a photo of the giant watermelon. I take a photo of the Sunday, uh, the hitching's pretty slow today, um, and it's getting slower as I go north, um, and it's kind of pissed me off a little bit. But in this case, all I have to do is look over here, and suddenly the trees. Suddenly, I am just not not so pissed off at all. dark as hell. Anyway, um, oh, I've left my stuff. Can you see anything? You can see anything through the phone. I've left my stuff on the surface area. Oh, yeah, there's a house over there. <laughs> and I can see better than the phone can, I think. Um, I've left my stuff on the surface area to come for a little walk around because I, I saw some roads on the map. Um, and I was thinking, well, okay, it doesn't, it's not showing a shop, but i will go find a 7-Eleven and get some food and take it back with me and sleep at the service area somewhere. But all, all there is is creepy woods, and dirt roads, and frogs. A lot of frogs. <laughs> and not a lot else. So I'm going to have to turn around, I reckon. Uh, never mind. It was fun. Oh, I'm recording again. Okay. Um, this is actually around the service area. The same service area I was at, um, I think, in the last video, last two videos actually. And uh, there's a mountain over there. Uh, I camped out over that way. There's a, there's a little bit around there, and I managed to camp uh, for quite a long time actually. I managed to get quite a lot of sleep. But I did wake up in the night uh, feeling really rather cold. And I've only bought one sleeping bag. Normally, I would bring. I, I would. I would camp out in two, and and that's that works really well because you don't really feel the cold through two sleeping bags. Um, I have brought extra clothes, but the, but I don't think enough. And as I go further north from here, it's going to get colder again, and it's not going to get at the rate that I'm moving. It's not going to get warm enough quickly enough compared to how fast I'm moving. So I'm, I've um, decided, so I've sort of come to the realization Hokkaido probably is going to be colder than this right now. Um, so it's, it's fine during the day, but cold at night. Um, Hokkaido is probably going to be all right about mid-June. And 
So I'm going to turn around again. Uh, and this time I'm going to go down uh, specifically to somewhere else, uh, Niigata, which is on the east coast of Japan. Oh, sorry, west coast of Japan. And uh, hang around there because it will start getting, uh, by, mid, by June it'll start getting rainy everywhere except Hokkaido and hopefully warm enough there. And I don't think I'm going to have a lot of time coming back down again to really do an exploration. So I'm going to do the east coast, the west coast, west coast now <laughs> to, to see what it's to see what it's like down there so i'm gonna to have to go over the road to the other service area which is over there uh which means going out that way and i've got to walk around and come all the way around here and then enter re-enter it from that side so i'll do that now i actually come down the road to go to the next service area and it's been quite windy um, most of this morning and um, it's left me with a little problem I can't go through it I think I probably have to go over it over there just climb clamber over it that way should be okay actually I'll, I'll go on this thing go on here and then step up and then step over I can probably do it cars can't obviously so that's why the car I've just gone past turn around okay I'm now the other side of it so that was actually Fairly simple and fairly quick. My stuff went through the hole there and I went over the top there. There you go. And this is the bit uh, that I showed at night during the day. These are the creepy woods. That's where the frogs are, through there. Mm.